the final between New York 9 Pacific, Pacific with the flight edge as far as possession goes, and uh, the more active side offensively as well. 12 shots on target, or 12 shots rather, four on target, and uh, those open play crosses standing out as well, 29 there. Um, the goal though, uh, the Alvaro Rivero goal, is, is the goal that this game needed. Um, it's, it's the guy I guess you want for York 9 to get on the end of it too. Yeah, Rivero shows that kind of skill that can really change a game. And throughout the first half, we didn't see both teams taking advantage of their chances, right? A lot of balls yeah. skied, a lot of strikers really not doing what they're paid to do. Alvaro Rivero comes in, does what he was signed to do. And that's the kind of thing that can really turn a game on its head. Mm -hmm. um, and again, really important. Again, I don't think, I think we should be talking about this finish for a long time because that's something that not a lot of players in this league can pull off. He does it quite quickly. Uh, the turn is really good, uh, you know, to, to volley it like that. Uh, that's the skill that York 9 needs up top because they have those pieces behind him. They have those creative yeah. pieces that can, you know, provide him service. Uh, you're going to need more of that all tournament from him. There are maybe one or two breakdowns in that entire game for Pacific, in my opinion. There was the one that we saw in the highlight pack where uh, many Aparicio got on the ball, plays a nice one into Porter, great touch. He can't yeah. put it on frame. This was the other instance for me. And what's a letdown for Pacific is I thought they did a great job winning second balls, competing for everything. And the one time they don't, the one time it's flicked on by Telfer, they lose the first ball. Alvaro Rivero uh, is there for the second. It's a great touch from him, not to take anything away from the finish. My question is just, if you're if you're Palma Duca, it's that letdown that you almost had a complete defensive game, and then the one time you you you, you fall asleep, you know, uh, uh, good players hurt you. Uh, one more quick thought on that though, that was, seemed like one of the few direct balls over the top that they tried, because in open play it didn't seem like York Nine was doing much at all. Well, I don't. It's because York Nine doesn't want to play that way, right? They don't want to play right. direct unless they, I think they have to, and I think as the game went along, maybe the mind sh uh, the mindset shifted a little bit, and I think it needed to because they weren't having any success playing through Morafushi and right. Shachara and Aparicio. Those guys were okay tonight, in my opinion, but I, I thought Pacific did a great job with with. Um, kind of clogging things up with Jamar Dixon, and they had Baldissimo playing next to him. I think it was clear that Pacific didn't want to allow York 9's midfield to get on the ball, so they go direct. The one or two times yeah. they do it, it works out for them. But right. they just don't have that, like uh, Pacific, excuse me, just didn't have that kind of finishing that York did on the day. And, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and in this kind of tournament, that makes a huge difference, right? There's, so There's only a few players in the league, I think, that can finish like that. We right. saw Ryan Telfer do it yep. once last year in the Canadian yeah. Championship. Alvaro Vera just showed that he can do it. All right, let's get to the, the tying goal then. Lucas McNaughton, uh, a bit of a grinder goal, I guess, where he just gets, gets something on it. It's enough to, uh, to throw off Nathan Ingham. I was uh, pretty hard on Nathan Ingham out of the York Knights' first game. Uh, I wanted to be fair to him uh, throughout this game. He made some really key saves, but this is one that he definitely wants back, right? It's one that maybe he has to get his hands up a little higher on. Um, but again, it's, it's the kind of thing that... Pacific deserves that goal. If we're thinking big picture, Pacific d definitely deserves that goal. We can talk about missed coverage. We can talk about, you know, maybe it's a goalkeeping error that he wants to have back. But in the end, that's the goal that I think Pacific mm. was building towards all game. And it's, again, sorry, it's, it's no surprise that it comes in this fluky way because, as I said before, the finishing wasn't there. Maybe those are the types of goals that Pacific are going to score this tournament.